Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I hope you all are safe and sound. In one of our previous videos, we showed you how to make a just a controlled mobile robot with Evai using Pictoblox machine learning extension. Click on the card above to find its link. In this video, we are going to show you how to control an Arduino Uno robot with 10 gestures using Pictoblox machine learning extension. The robot should move forward if we keep our palm straight. It should turn right if we tilt our hand right. It should turn left if we tilt our hand left. And the robot should stop if we close our fist. Prerequisites are a two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive Arduino robot. Click on the card above to make the project. A laptop or a computer with camera, latest version of Pictoblox, and a good internet connection. Let's begin by training the models. Visit the Teachable Machines website. Click the Get Started button. A new page will open up. Click on the Image Project tile. Let's begin by adding the first class. As we will be adding our simple images using webcam, click on the webcam button to start the camera. We'll first make the class for the robot to move forward. Thus, keep our palm open and record the images. Similarly, we will be creating the other three classes too. That is, right, left, and stop. Your training data is complete. It will look something like this at the end. Now that we have included the simple images, we need to train the model accordingly. Thus, click the train model button and wait for the model to get trained. You can have a look or test the train models. Now that the model is perfect, let's export the model. Click on the export model button. A pop-up will open. Click the upload my model button. A shareable link will appear. Copy it. Open Pictoblox. We will first add the machine learning extension. To work with the all new AI NML extension, you need to keep two things in mind. First, that you must sign in or log in into Pictoblox from here. Second, you must have a good internet connection. Click on the board button and select Arduino. Before working with Arduino, Let's upload the firmware to it. Connect your Arduino Uno to your computer using a USB cable. Select the appropriate serial port. Now, click on the Upload Firmware button. Your firmware will be uploaded successfully. Disconnect Arduino from the computer. Now you need to connect Arduino with Pictoblox via Bluetooth. Thus, click on Connect button and choose Bluetooth ports. Select the appropriate Bluetooth port from the list. Now, we need to add the machine learning extension. Click on the Add Extension button. Choose the machine learning extension. Now, we need to load our model into Pictoblox. Thus, click on Load Model. A dialog box will appear. Paste the copied link into the space given and click on Load Model. Wait for a little while till the models get loaded. You may now see that the machine learning blocks are loaded. Let's first set up the stage. Drag and drop the event flag clicked hard block from the events palette to execute the program when the green flag is clicked. As we need to recognize the hand gestures from the camera feed, place the turn on video on stage with 0% transparency block from the machine learning palette. Next, snap connect motor block from the actuator palette. Choose one from the first drop down, six, five, and three from the second, third, and fourth drop down, respectively. Duplicate this block and choose two, nine, ten, and eleven from the first, second, third, and fourth drop downs, respectively. Place a forever block to make the code run continuously. Next, we will recognize the gestures from the stage and perform actions accordingly. 
Thus, let's make a few custom function blocks. Go to my blocks palette. Click on make a block button. First, we will make the function to make the robot move forward. Thus, write go straight into the name and click on OK. You'll see a hard block onto the scripting area. Place the run motor one block from the actuator's palette. Duplicate the above block and place it below and choose two from the first drop down. Similarly, we will make the custom blocks to turn left, turn right and break one by one. Duplicate the two motor blocks and place them below the turn left and turn right block. Let's make a few changes into these blocks. Into the turn left block, select reverse from the second drop down of the first block. Into the turn right block, select reverse from the second drop down of the second block. Into the brake block, drag and drop the free motor block from the actuator's palette. And choose two from the second block. Now let's move on to the main script. Place an FLS block from the controls palette. Drag and drop the is identified glass from web camera is forward block from the machine learning palette and choose stage from the drop down. This will let us recognize the forward class from the trained model. Place the go straight block into the if arm. Duplicate the if block and place it into the else arm. Select left from the if block and replace go straight block with the turn left block. Repeat the same process for the right and stop. The script is now complete. Click on the green flag to run the script. Don't forget to share your creations and queries with us in our Pixelblocks community on Facebook. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to STEMpedia and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Bye-bye. Stay safe.